Okay, so let's see how we can solve these two uh, radical equations for x, and we want to isolate x and get down to a single value. Now, it's a little bit different is because we have radicals on both sides. We, we have to look at a strategy of <clears throat> what we can do. So the first thing that we can do is we can take each of these equations. So I'm going to write down root x plus 1, put it in brackets, and then we have root x plus 2, that in brackets. So a strategy to remove the radicals is just to square both sides. Okay, so whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. This is going to now be like having a binomial expansion. Root x plus 1 all squared is the same as root x plus 1 times root x plus 1. So we would just apply our FOIL rules or binomial expansion rules. So we square the first term. So root x squared is just going to give us x. We multiply the two terms together and double it for the middle term. So that's going to give us 2 root x. 1 times root x is just 1 root x doubled is 2 root x plus 1, which is 1 squared. And this whole bracket here is just going to go away to give us x plus 2 because we're just going to square the radical. So now we can collect like terms here. So we can subtract x on both sides. Okay, and that will get rid of the x term. And then we are left with 2. And then we can subtract 1 on both sides. And we're left with um, 2 root x is equal to 1. And then to solve this, we simply just have to divide by 2 on both sides. And we're going to be left with root x is equal to 1 half. And then again, we need to remove the radical. So the way we do that is we square both sides again. And this is going to leave us with x is equal to 1 quarter. Okay. Now, to do the question B, it's very, we're going to use the exact same procedure, except the FOIL is just going to be a little bit longer and more involved. So we're going to write down the first equation here like this and we're going to square it and then we are going to have the other radical here and we are going to square that so <clears throat> this is 3 minus uh, root x minus 8 so again we're, if we apply foil to this we're going to square the 3 which is 9 then we're going to multiply the two terms which is 3 times negative root um, x minus 8, but then we double that, so it's going to be minus 6 root x minus 8. And then we have to square um, this last term, okay, to get rid of it. So it's going to end up being, that's negative root x minus 8, but we're squaring it, so it's just going to be x minus 8. We get rid of the radical sign, and, and it's also plus because we're squaring the negative. And then this is just going to give us x minus 5. Okay, so we now just can col collect some like terms here. So we have 9 minus 8, which is 1. Okay, and we're just going to have the x by itself. So let's just write this out here. Um, plus x. Uh, 9 minus 8 we said is plus 1. And that's equal to x minus 5. Okay, and then we will do the same thing we did before here. We're going to subtract x negative 6, x minus 8 plus 1 is equal to negative 5, and then subtract 1 on both sides. So we can sort of see something here that's going to, negative 5 minus 1 is negative 6. So now we have a negative 6 in front here and a negative 6 there, so if we divide those, that'll cancel. Okay, and that leaves us with a nice value of 1, and then we have root x minus 8. Now again, we do the same thing that we did before, same strategy. We square both sides. Okay, so this is going to be x minus 8, and 1 squared is 1. And then finally, we just bring the negative 8 over, so x is equal to 9. All right, so a little bit of algebra involved there, but this is how you work, work this one through. Um, question B is definitely a little bit harder because you are squaring this as a binomial, and it takes a little bit more to, to work it through.